These things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. Hello, I'm Garland Thompson and we're working on a new black history in science and technology. Behind me is one of the foremost museums of science and technology in the world, the Franklin Institute. It was put up in the 1800s to educate Philadelphians about the history of science and technology. The problem with this museum, as wonderful as it is, is that there are very, very few exhibits or information about the African Americans who today are prime pioneers in the science and technology enterprise. Neither inventors, like IBM's Dr. Mark Dean, who invented the PC and started a revolution. Not Jesse Russell, who invented the cell telephone. Not Marion Hall, the chief engineer who built the first Seawolf submarines. Not managers like Lockheed Martin's Linda Gooden, who had built an $8 billion enterprise and the biggest defense contractor in the world. Or like Rodney Atkins the man who has the single biggest development job in industry at IBM, running all of IBM's development. None of those people are going to be found in this museum or any others like it. And that's why we're doing the new black history, and that's why we're going to introduce you to Rodney Atkins next and let him tell you some of the amazing things that he's in charge of. Hello, I'm Garland Thompson, and we're here with Rodney Atkins of IBM, who was named the 2007 Black Engineer of the Year. Rodney is an executive at IBM. He runs the D part of the R&D enterprise. It is a large enterprise with laboratories around the world, and it's a $3 billion enterprise. And we're talking to Rodney about not only how he got to where he is, but how can very many other young African Americans make that growth and have that career and step into those opportunities. I think we all share this role uh, to make sure that we are building the inventory of talent uh, that can, can compete uh, for many of these new and emerging job opportunities. Uh, and, and we really should be focused on um, growing that talent locally, which is in you know, our, our geography. Um, and as well as um, we should leverage um, global talent uh, when and where it makes sense. But I do think we have the responsibility to make sure that all constituencies within the United States in particular should really have the opportunity to participate um, in opportunities around engineering, science, um, and, and technologies. Because if you just look at the trends around you know, the labor pool, uh, it is in our best interest uh, to make sure uh, that we are developing the right skills and the right capabilities uh, for the 21st century workforce. So if you look at the more popular game platforms uh, like the uh, Sony PlayStation 3, uh, the Microsoft uh, Xbox, or the Nintendo Wii, IBM technologies are actually embedded in all of those game consoles. Um, and these are our what we call microprocessor technologies, the brains of the console uh, that does the, the computing um, functions uh, for, the, for the gaming um, experience. So a Nintendo Wii, which is rocking the market right now, mm -hmm. has got IBM chips in it. That's right. So if you look at, for, honestly, all of the game consoles. And the Xbox 360. 360 and the Sony PlayStation 3. the Sony 3. PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. They all have IBM they chips. They have all IBM technologies. And I'm actually honored to participate with the team uh, that develops those technologies uh, for, those, for those various partners. So that means being an engineer, working on what many people might think is a straight-laced, you know, in a straight-laced environment, you get to work on fun things. Yes, yes. We, uh, I like to think that engineers make a big difference for the world. 
Um, and most of the applications, you can look at many of these applications, uh, there are, they're for uh, commercial and business. But a number of the things we work on, they also enable consumer opportunities. And the game machines or the game consoles, that's a, that's a great example where our technologies are being embedded into all types of solutions and applications. Our kids aren't told as much about how they can participate in technology and own technology. They're scared of technology because they don't know their history in technology. It becomes alien to them. So all they see is their role as consumers. If they knew about Dr. Mark Dean, who played a key role in the IBM PC, if they knew the role that African slaves brought to this country in all forms of technology, particularly agricultural technology, then they would say that technology was a part of our DNA. I think the more important opportunity is that engineering does allow an opportunity to participate in some of, in my opinion, some of the more exciting um, opportunities um, um, in the marketplace. And when you just look at some of the trends around, you know, the, you know, the demographics around labor and the different types of opportunities across the marketplace, uh, you know, this is an area where many of our black constituencies can make a difference uh, because the opportunities are there um, and with the right level of uh, preparation, um, these are some opportunities um, that, 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 in my opinion, are some attractive um, you know, opportunities um, moving forward.